the drawing office of a car producing firm. A firm with the output of over a million vehicles a week. Fantastic figures. But they're used to them here, because ever since the company started, more than 250 million matchbox models have come off the assembly line. In spite of what you might think, producing toy cars isn't child's play. It's a highly organized operation, requiring similar skills to the production of the full-size car. After the design details have been settled, a carefully carved wooden model, every detail exact but five times the size of the intended miniature, gives the toolmaker the shape from which he cuts the steel die from which the models will come. Some of the die casting machines can produce about 7,000 sets a day, and here's just one. These rough castings will drop to a conveyor belt, which carries them to the next stage, known interestingly as rumbling and peddling. Castings are, of course, mixed up with a great deal of unwanted material. This is easily removed, and the waste goes back to the foundry, where it is remelted and used again. The firm only began operations just after the war. A couple of ex-servicemen pooled their gratuities and started making die castings for industry in an almost derelict pub. Most of the machines they designed themselves so that one day when business was slack, they were able to experiment with a small model of the coronation coach. And they sold more than a million copies. Suddenly realizing the kind of market available, they concentrated on producing these perfectly detailed models. One good idea, two men, and millions of satisfied customers. The models are perfect in detail for the most critical collector, yet fun for the children. This is an industry where even the boss gets fun out of his work.